Hi, my name is Jeff Erbach. I'm the Executive Director of the Art Gallery of Grand Prairie. I'm going to talk to you about a question we get a lot, which is, what is a curator? So, a curator is really about consideration. It's kind of like an approach or a philosophy. You yourself, actually, are a type of curator. Here's what I mean. If you're a parent, you're actually curating the experiences for your children. You're making decisions about the films and television shows that they watch, what kind of games they play. You're working with them collaboratively to work out their room and the vibe and feel of that space. So in that way, you're curating their experience. Slightly less complex, you're actually curating for yourself as well. This is um, interesting because you serve as then as both the curator and the audience, and the audience is you. So you make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis about the kinds of things you watch, the kinds of entertainment you engage in, the type of art that you like or look at, the kinds of books that you read. In this way, you're curating your own experience. You know, there are interesting words to describe what it means to curate a space. Interior design are those kinds of words. Those are people who work with you about the attitude, the emotional response you might have in, say, your living room or bedroom. So some of the tools that go into curating that space include the color, the furnishings, the other kinds of objects you choose to put in the room, the layout, so how you put those objects in the room. All of those things are factors which then contribute to the emotional resonance that happens for yourself in that space. So you're doing a lot of curating at home already. Now let's move to a museum context. It's going to get slightly more sophisticated. Because in a museum context, a curator works with artists. Artists create pieces that often have messages. In this postmodern world, the message may be that there is no message, and that's okay. And so the curator serves to nurture the artist's message and present it for the audience. And in this context, the audience is our community. So it isn't any one single person, it's everyone. This is partly what makes it so complex. Another piece to this is that sometimes curators want to work on particular ideas. We've done exhibitions here at the gallery, like Ecology is Human Nature, The Rich Interior Life. So these are themes, ideas, that we're presenting to the community. And so what are the art pieces that best reflect those ideas? Which artist messages cohesively work together to talk about that? That dialogue is really interesting and complex. So in this sense, a curator of art and art museums is often like a conductor in that each of the individual musical pieces has to harmonize to deliver the musical piece as a final product. And so a curator of an art museum has to synthesize all of these different energies and all these different pieces to deliver a message. So there's a broad range of tools that they have to work with and that they have to consider. This includes the layout, how the pieces are in the space, how the pieces work together, the dialogue between the pieces, what that journey is like for a visitor, how that visitor moves through the space and experiences that show, what the intellectual, spiritual, and emotional response is that they want to elicit in that show. And even working with an individual artist, a curator is going to talk to them a lot about what it is they want to express, and how they want to express it, how to best do that in a particular space. So, while we're going through this together, and while you may be sheltering in place or at home, while you may be facilitating the experience of your children, or that you're just looking for something new yourself, these can be interesting things to contemplate. How you're curating your own experiences. How maybe you're going to look to something that's more challenging or inspiring or something outside of the way you've typically been approaching things. With the Art at Home projects, we're going to have a range of pieces for you. We're going to show you past exhibitions and ask leading and provocative questions around them. We're going to have 
energetic, creative art-making pieces that you can get involved in. And we're going to talk more about how you curate and what it means to be a museum and how those pieces can relate to you in your life and in your current experience. So I hope I've answered the question for you. Please take care. Take care of yourself and your family and each other. See you later.